The FLQ Movement What was the FLQ? The FLQ stood for the Front de Libération du Québec, or the Quebec Liberation Front. They were a group that wanted the people of Quebec to take complete control of their nation. They wanted complete independence for Quebec. The October Crisis On October 5, 1970, the British commissioner, James Cross, was kidnapped at 8.15 a.m. James Cross was an important leader to the Canadian government. He did not support the FLQ movement and therefore was the perfect target for the FLQ terrorist group. The FLQ kidnapped Cross knowing this would catch the public's eye. The demands of the FLQ group for his release were the following. The FLQ requested the release of 23 political prisoners. They wanted a payment of $500,000 in gold. They wanted, a they wanted national publicity for the FLQ manifesto. And they also demanded an aircraft ensuring a safe trip to Cuba or Algeria for all the kidnappers. October 10th, 1970. On this day, the demands for Cross's release were not yet met. So on October 10th, at 7 p.m., Pierre Laporte, the Provincial Minister of Labour, was kidnapped from his home. Pierre Laporte was another important man in his society, especially towards his province. He also supported Cross's idea of opposing the FLQ movement. He was also captured in order for the FLQ members to be heard and get their point across. At this point, the provincial and national government weren't sure on what plan of action to pursue. On October 15, 1970, more than 3,000 students attended a protest rally in favor of the FLQ movement. As the Canadian government saw this support, they knew they had to act quickly and forcefully. The government then finally agreed to release five political prisoners and to ensure the safe deportation of the kidnappers to Cuba. However, the kidnappers were not pleased with this compromise. On October 16, 1970, Prime Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau issued the War Measures Act. Prime Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau was clearly a man who did not support the FLQ movement. This is why he issued the War Measures Act, which overrided the fundamental rights and privileges of the citizens. This was a big decision for Trudeau for it could have drastically affected his popularity and support from the population of Quebec. The War Measures Act gave a lot of power to the police forces within Quebec, allowing them to arrest anyone supporting or who were part of the FLQ. Within the next couple days, there were more than 400 arrests made. On October 18, 1970, the body of Pierre Laporte was found in the trunk of a car near the Saint-Hubert Airport on the south shore of Montreal. On December 3, 1970, James Cross was finally freed. Police discovered his location. On that date, five of the terrorists were granted safe passage to Cuba but were never allowed to return to Canada. Later on in December, the FLQ was found responsible for more than 200 bombings and the deaths of at least five people. By December 29th, more than 450 arrests were made. Quebec's current status. Today, there are still people in Quebec that want complete separation and independence for Quebec. They truly believe Quebec should be its own nation state and that Quebec's identity differs from that of the Canadian identity. However, from the votes that were taken to support or oppose the idea of Quebec becoming its own nation state, the higher percentage is against the idea. My predictions. I predict that Quebec will always identify itself as its own nation. I also predict that more people will try and fight for Quebec's independence. However, I do not believe they will ever succeed. I believe that Quebec is a part of Canada and that Canada is a part of Quebec. 
I just hope that one day Quebec will be just as accepting towards Canada as Canada is towards all other cultures. To what extent I believe national interest should be pursued? National interest plays a major role in deciding what is important to a country or a nation. I believe a nation should pursue its national interest to the fullest, as long as they are not harming or neglecting others. If a nation's national interest cannot be justified by its actions, then it should not be pursued. For a nation can only work as a unified nation and reach common goals and interests when they are just with its own members and others. Je t'aime, c'est le seul qui reste au bout de nos jours. Les vœux que l'on fait, les fleurs que l'on sème, chacun les récolte en soi-même. Au beau jardin du temps qui court, Jean du pays, c'est votre tour de vous laisser parler. Le temps de s'aimer, le jour de le dire, font comme la neige au doigt du printemps. Faitons de nos joies, faitons de nos rires, ses yeux sur nos regards se mirent. C'est demain que j'avais vingt ans, Jean du pays, c'est votre tour de vous laisser parler. Le ruisseau des jours aujourd'hui s'arrête et forme un étang où chacun peut voir comme en un miroir l'amour qui reflète pour ces cœurs à qui je souhaite le temps de vivre nos 